Hi, and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, I want to have a look at a few of the exchanges. Uh, really quick, short, punchy video, because I'm about to literally leave, but I really wanted to get this message out. Now, um, you know, if you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, select in all the notifications so you never miss a video. Jump in our Discord, it's absolutely free. You won't regret it. So many people in there supporting one another, navigate the space safely and doing a remarkable job, I will add. So look, crypto.com, you know, pure speculation, all of this, please treat it as speculation. It's not necessarily accurate. I haven't had time to fact check everything. Uh, and some of this is just purely my opinion. Uh, but, you know, the message that I'm putting out here is keep your crypto safe. You know, if, if you even need to hold crypto, right? Like I'm not trying to encourage people to sell somewhere near the bottom and take an L, but, you know, you need to review your own risk and, you know, your risk tolerances uh, and make sure that you're keeping your capital safe. I don't know what your, you know, uh, level of investment is, you know, whether, you know, if everything goes under or projects go under, you know, whether, you know, you're going to be able to just continue life as, as normal the next day. And, you know, you've got to make sure that you're comfortable with whatever risk it is that you're holding. Do you need to be on exchanges, you know, and have that third party risk? Do you need to have a uh, particular stable coin? You know, could you not be in fear and in your bank? You know, these are all the questions I feel people should be asking themselves. My opinion is that people should be looking at these things and asking themselves these questions. Now, let's start with crypto.com before we get to sort of the headline. Crypto.com's uh, CEO, Chris, has been doing a lot of interviews recently. Now, what I would say, uh, and this is my opinion, um, you know, you'd need to fact check what I'm saying yourself and I, you can go away and do that. But my perception is Chris is being very deceptive. He's not always answering the question being asked. If you watch some of the interviews, you know, one of them uh, being around, I, I guess, you know, yield. How are you generating that yield? Uh, and he just talks about risk. This is a giant red flag for me. Um, so you know, go watch the interviews and see if you agree. See if he's actually answering the question being asked, because you know if he isn't, these are big red flags. Um, so you know, I'm not comfortable personally from a personal position. Um, I am off you know the exchanges. Just to be clear, KuCoin really unusual activity. Um, you know they've uh, you know stopped uh, some sort of trading. And uh, ultimately, uh, a message came out after the fact saying that it was planned maintenance. So I've never understood planned maintenance messages going out after the, the actual event happening. So look, you know, unusual activity. It could be nothing. It could be something. Again, ask yourself, do you want to hold that risk? Now move on. Um, I want to kind of look at Gen uh, Genesis. Um, obviously, you know, we highlighted it in the morning and then in the afternoon uh, they had uh, halted withdrawals. Now, a lot of people don't understand this, but they have a very big institutional, um, I, I guess, uh, client list. What I would say is I, I do expect, you know, more widespread impacts off the back of these sorts of things because, you know, some of these institutional uh, investors may have to, you know, risk off on some other assets, you know, some genuinely good projects. So look, at the moment, you know, I'm still expecting you know, more downside. I really want to just bring this stuff to people's attention. Like I'm adding everybody in the Discord just constantly. Discord is the hub. It's where you find about find out about everything first. Um, so, you know, just uh, look at the list of exchanges that I have concerns over, you know, and you weigh up the risk based on, you know, what you, you see and you read. So yeah, that, that's kind of how I, I feel about things. If you enjoyed today's video, Mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>